As an indispensable means of transportation in modern society, subway plays an important role in connecting cities, relieving traffic pressure and improving the quality of life. Back in 2011, when Ecuador planned to build a subway, China was not only willing to provide a loan of 1.6 billion US dollars, but also expressed its willingness to assist Ecuador in realizing this grand project. Surprisingly, Ecuador rejected China's help on the grounds that the quotation time was too late, and instead chose Spain as a partner in subway construction. Surprisingly, this subway line, which is only 22 kilometers long, took a full seven years to complete. What is even more surprising is that the subway service was suddenly stopped not long after it started operation. This series of events made people very curious, why did Ecuador reject China's help and choose Spain? At the same time, what caused the delays in the construction of the subway and the interruption of operations? Welcome to Word Answer, where you will be able to learn about projects, cooperation around the world and important information about China. Subscribe to us and discover more interesting events around the world. Ecuador plans to build a subway project called the Quito Metro. This subway line will pass through Quito, the capital of Ecuador, with 15 stations along the north-south direction, with a total length of 22.8 kilometers and an investment scale of up to 2 billion US dollars. Once this magnificent project is completed, it will bring great convenience and change to people. People will be able to travel quickly between the start and finish points in just 34 minutes, which will save thousands of people valuable time and allow them to organize their daily lives more efficiently. More importantly, the carrying capacity of the Quito Metro is astonishing and can accommodate up to 400,000 passengers per day, which will largely relieve the traffic pressure in Ecuador's cities and make the city more fluid and livable. Unfortunately, Ecuador does not have strong strength in infrastructure construction. Therefore, the country can only seek assistance from the international community. It is understood that when Ecuador announced the subway project, a total of 16 countries showed interest in the project, including countries such as Japan and Germany. Surprisingly, however, since Ecuador itself is not a developed country, it was unable to immediately provide $2 billion in funding. Therefore, Ecuador hopes that the partner country can provide low-interest loans to support the implementation of the project. When the 16 countries heard the news, many countries believed that Ecuador's current economic situation was not good, and worried that it would not be able to repay the debt, so they withdrew from the project one after another. It is understood that a total of 16 countries showed interest in the project at that time, but 14 of them chose to withdraw from the project, leaving only China and Spain to continue participating. Among them, China agreed to Ecuador's conditions, not only willing to provide a loan of 1.6 billion US dollars with an interest rate of 2%, but also willing to use advanced technology and high-quality materials to assist in the construction of the Quito subway. Spain, on the other hand, is only willing to provide $2 billion at standard bank lending rates. From these conditions it is clear that China's conditions are superior to those of Spain. More importantly, China is also Ecuador's second largest trading partner. For example, in 2021 alone, the bilateral trade volume bucked the trend and increased by 44.6% reaching 10.9 for billion US dollars. In addition, China has also helped Ecuador complete substation expansion projects and other projects. Seeing this, you might think that Ecuador will hand over the project to China. Surprisingly, however, Ecuador chose to let Spain build the Quito Metro. So, what is the reason for Ecuador's rejection of China? After investigation, it was found that Ecuador rejected China's proposal on the pretext of, the quotation was too late. However, this is just an excuse. In fact, in recent years, China has become closer to Latin American countries, including Honduras. As of 2021, China has constructed a total of 192 projects in Latin America and the Caribbean, 
creating more than 673,000 local job opportunities. These projects have undoubtedly increased China's influence in Latin America. In this context, as a country in Latin America, Ecuador has long been under the economic and political influence of the United States. However, as China's influence in the region gradually increases, it undoubtedly poses a challenge for the United States. It can be seen that Ecuador rejected China's proposal mainly to avoid further increasing China's influence in the region. Considering Ecuador's rejection of China, Ecuador can only choose Spain to assist in the construction of the Quito subway. After Spain received the Quito subway project, it first went through a period of preparation, and then officially started construction in 2016. However, the construction process of the subway was not smooth sailing, and Spain encountered many problems and challenges during the construction. In 2016, for example, a train derailed in Spain, killing four and injuring 50. This made Ecuador suspicious of Spain's infrastructure technology. To this end, Ecuador sent several staff members to inspect the construction plan and supervise the construction, which had a certain impact on the construction progress in Spain. In addition, Spain experienced an economic crisis in 2017, which led the Spanish government to misappropriate some project funds in order to alleviate the crisis, which indirectly led to problems such as insufficient supply of construction materials. Therefore, under the accumulation of these problems, it took Spain seven years to complete the construction of the 22.8-kilometer Quito Metro. It is understood that May 1, 2023 is the first day of the official operation of the Quito subway, but the subway suddenly stopped service within a few days. So what caused the interruption of subway operations? There are two main reasons. First of all, when the subway was officially in operation, more than 25,000 people chose to take the subway. However, both the computer system and the two-dimensional code for gate machine recognition had a collective failure, causing a large number of passengers to stay at the entrance for more than half an hour, and finally the passengers began to forcibly enter the gate. Secondly, many locals are not familiar with the operation and riding rules of the subway. They are faced with problems such as being unable to buy tickets, queuing up to buy passes, and being forced to close the station due to disputes with staff. These problems lead to the paralysis of the operation of the subway, directly affecting the normal operation of the subway. Finally, on May 11, 2023, the Quito Metro ceased official operations. This sudden incident has aroused widespread concern and discussion and many passengers are very disappointed with the interruption of the operation of the Quito Metro. Although the Ecuadorian government promised to upgrade and adjust the software during the outage to speed up the printing of QR codes, and measures such as increasing the number of staff at the ticket office, and at the same time popularizing knowledge such as subway use regulations to users, and finally plan to reopen it at the end of the year. However, over time, it is also questionable whether people's willingness to ride the Quito Metro will continue. This video ends here. What do you think of Ecuador's approach? Do you think the Quito Metro can still operate normally? Welcome to leave a message in the comment area to share your thoughts and feelings. If you like the content of this issue, please recommend him to your friends so that more people can see this video. Thank you for watching and supporting, see you next time.